Factsverse presents 20 Brilliant Dishwasher Hacks That Most People Don't Ever Consider If you're like just about everyone on the planet, you use your dishwasher to wash your dishes. That's what they're made for. It's much easier to run a load of dishes all at once rather than washing a dish each time you use one. It's also better than letting the dishes pile up in the sink. What you might not know is that there are some other uses for your dishwasher, and some will blow your mind. The best way to cook salmon of any type of fish is in the oven. However, if your oven isn't working for some reason and you still really want a piece of fish, use the dishwasher. After wrapping it in tinfoil, run it through the dishwasher on a non-soap cycle. You'll end up with evenly cooked, steamed salmon. It's a great way to have a good meal if your oven's on the fritz. If you buy a lot of produce, rinsing it all in the sink can be very time-consuming. If you put all your fruit in the dishwasher, you can rinse it all at once. If you line the fruit up in the dishwasher and run it on a cold cycle with no soap, you save yourself a lot of time. If your stovetop's not working and you're craving fresh, steamed vegetables, you can steam them right there in your dishwasher. First, put your prepared vegetables in mason jars and line them up on the top shelf. If you run the dishwasher on a regular cycle with no soap, you'll have perfectly steamed vegetables when the cycle ends. Anyone who wears makeup knows that the brushes can get caked with makeup. If you want an easy way to clean those brushes, put them in the dishwasher. Put them in the utensil carrier and run a cycle without soap. When the cycle's done, your brushes will be clean. This isn't something you should do every day because it will wear down the brush, but it is safe to run it through the dishwasher maybe once a month. Okay, this one probably sounds a bit insane, but you can clean your computer keyboard. So how do you do that without getting your keyboard wet? Well, as long as you don't use soap and you turn the drying mode off, your keyboard will come out safe and clean. Just let it drip dry before using it. If part of your meal's ready and the rest of the meal isn't, you're going to have to keep the dish that's prepared warm while the other finishes cooking. You can do that in your dishwasher. Just set the dial to the heat cycle with no water and your food will be piping hot when you're ready to eat. Kids love to put just about everything in their mouths. That means their toys continually get covered with saliva, dirt, food, germs, bacteria. Well, rather than washing each toy in hot water one by one, you can sterilize them all in one shot in the dishwasher. Just load up that dishwasher with toys and set it on a light wash. When you're done, the toys will be disinfected and germ-free. Using cooking spray like Pam can create a mess if you're not careful. If you open your dishwasher and spray over it, it acts as a guard. If you're like most people, you're not going to believe that you can heat up a piece of lasagna in the dishwasher. Well, the show Mythbusters was a bit skeptical about it, too, so they decided to test the theory. And it worked. The microwave or the stove is the best way to heat lasagna, but in a pinch, you can get an evenly heated piece from the dishwasher. Okay, preparing lobster in the dishwasher, that sounds absolutely insane, but it is possible. And the instructions are pretty easy. Cut a lobster tail in half after it's been deshelled and deveined. Put it in a mason jar with a whole stick of unsalted butter. The finished product will blow you away. So what are you supposed to do if your shoes are filthy and you don't have a washing machine? Well, if you have a dishwasher, you're fine. You don't want to wash your shoes with any dishes inside, though, because that'll just make the dishes dirtier. But if you run your shoes through the cycle alone, they'll come out looking as good as new. There's nothing worse than having an unripened avocado when you're really craving one. If you have a dishwasher, you can ripen your avocado and soften it up by putting it through a cycle in the dishwasher. Use hot water, don't use soap, and you'll have a ready-to-eat avocado. Dirty hubcaps have a negative effect on the appearance of your car. The only problem is that getting down on the ground to clean them can sometimes be a hassle or even physically impossible for some people. The easiest and most effective way to clean your hubcaps is to throw those caps in the dishwasher. You can use soap, hot water, and the dry cycle. When they come out of the dishwasher, they'll look as good as new. It's too bad you can't fit the entire car in the dishwasher, too, huh? Fake flowers can add a pop of color to any room, and fake flowers never die. Some people find them tacky, but they really can brighten up a room if you get some nice ones. The problem is that they get dirty and dusty after a while, just like everything else that isn't living. If you want your flowers to look as good as new, throw them in the dishwasher and call it a day. When they come out, they'll look brand new again. When the fake flowers aren't dusty or dirty, nobody will even know that they're fake. 
If you're one of those people who like to serve dinner on a hot plate, here's an excellent tip for your next dinner party. You can heat your plates in the dishwasher and they'll stay hot until you're ready to use them. Put them in on the heat-slash-dry cycle and they'll be warm until it's time to use that plate for the meal. If you recently replaced your dishwasher, don't take the old one to the dump yet. It could come in handy if you know somebody who's into spray paint art. If you remove the racks from the inside of the washer, well, your friend could use the interior as a protective booth. Your friend will be so thankful that you gave them a booth for their art that they'll make you a masterpiece for your home. Or at least they should. If you hand wash your dishes but don't want to take the time to hand dry them, put them in the dishwasher. The water won't leak all over the counter and they'll be out of sight until they're dry and ready to be put away. You can do this even if your dishwasher is broken. Your keys are loaded with bacteria and germs because they go with you everywhere. You have no idea what types of harmful things are probably building up on your keys right now. Well, you can take the keys off the chain and put the keys in the utensil holder. When they come out, they'll be clean and disinfected. Want to cook a turkey in the dishwasher? Yeah, you heard me right. You can actually cook a turkey in the dishwasher. If you're hosting Thanksgiving dinner and you can't get your oven to work for some reason, well, number one, what a horrible time for the oven to break down, but the dishwasher could save the day. You can wrap up the turkey in plastic wrap and put it on the bottom shelf of your dishwasher in a foil pan. After running the dishwasher through three full cycles, the turkey will be cooked. Just make sure you don't use soap. That'll ruin dinner for everybody. All right, yeah, the turkey skin won't have that crunchy golden brown skin, but the meat will be cooked. When your guests arrive, you should probably keep your cooking method to yourself, though, until the guests have already eaten. They may not want to eat the turkey if they know that it was prepared in a dishwasher. If your old dishwasher has finally washed its last load of dishes, you're going to have to go and get a new one. Well, before you have the new dishwasher delivered and the old ones taken away, grab the bottom rack from your old one. It'll be great for storing things, and because it's on wheels, you can roll it right under your bed. You can even keep the utensil tray to keep things more organized. What other ideas have you heard a dishwasher could be good for? Tell us in the comments, and subscribe for more.